Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to the Tory Burch Outlet Store to check out the latest Willa handbag designs and style update. And let me just say, Tori Birch, you have done it yet again. <laughs> That's devastating, man. Thanks. But before we hop into today's Tory Birch Outlet Shop With Me trip, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, Tory Birch, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button, as it does help me know you enjoyed today's video and it helps with that pesky <coughs> youtube al go rhythm <laughs> starting off in the tory birch outlet as you can tell, everything will be 30% off of the prices as shown. So first up, we do have the Willa bucket bag. Probably my least favorite from the Willa line itself, but it's still a really cute piece. And I think it's the least expensive. The least expensive at being $648 Canadian, so 30% off of that. A fair bit pricey. I I do like the Willa bucket. It's just I don't like bucket bags that much. And I feel like the leather that the Willas use just don't utilize the bucket bag style to the best of its ability, if that makes sense. And then you also got like a light cream colored one. Very, very pretty. And they also have like this nice whip stitch. It's like whip stitch cross hatched and it is luxurious feeling. I love the leather used. It is just super soft. If I were you and you were looking to get one of these, I would definitely go for this one. This one definitely felt like the leather was more made for like the bucket bag itself, if that makes sense. And it just, it's very adorable. It works a lot better in my opinion. Just slide it open. Nice and roomy. Not something I would buy, but again, out of the three here, this is definitely the best one. And I do believe it's the most expensive. <laughs> and there's no price. And there's no price. So we all just got cucked out of that. I apologize. Regardless, it's probably more money. If, if I had to take a guess, it's probably like $6.98, 30% off of that type of deal. So just slide it back, or slide it back closed, not open. And then move on to a, another quilted leather piece. This one is like a bigger quilt. The Willis have new large diamond cross hatching or like quilting, and it's really pretty. It looks a lot more um, Chanel or Valentino. This specific bag here is 898. I do love these pieces here, like the uh, the patchwork quilting, absolutely sickening. They have had a couple different iterations of this in the past, and I always like seeing what they come out with because they're always really nice. And the leather is just absolute chef's kiss. Beautiful, stunning, immaculate. Way overpriced but it's beautiful <laughs> and oh girl it looks so good with my outfit it looks so good with my outfit does it look good as good with my bandit no my bandit looks so much better but it still looks dope some people are gonna roast me ha for having the green chain on my bandit but you know i think it looks cute now here is my favorite tory birch bag as of right now at least from the outlet it's the willa they're calling it a f mini f or fold over clutch. This is definitely like a baguette. 
the Willa, I'm calling it the Willa Baguette because girl, it is sickening. It is gorgeous. The leather, just as beautiful as the rest. It has a stunning silhouette. I love it. I absolutely love it. As soon as I seen it, I was like, ooh, girl. If I had to get a Willa now, it's definitely gonna have to be that one. Definitely has to be this one. It, it's very Chanel. 758. So if that were to go like 50% off, that that's not bad, actually. That's not horrible, I should say. But it's very pretty. I really do enjoy it. And I'm not really sure if... No, it doesn't look like the bag straps are like detachable or anything like that. So there is... You can't really do too much with versatility for it, sadly. But it's still really pretty. It just looks so elegant and classy. Now that I do look at it, though, it is a bit small. It is a bit small. If it was a little bit bigger, maybe I'd be like, for sure, get it. But for the meantime, it's on my watch list. And then they also have the, the So Black, Matte Black here. I like the Matte Black leather here used, even though it is a bit pricier than the normal Willow leather. 798 so I do like it, but I do know other people don't really like the finish of this leather because it's very, um, it, I don't want to say it feels like plastic, but it's very frosted. It's heavily frosted leather. So if you kind of like know what frosted glass feels like compared to like, you know, glossy glass, it's going to have a completely different feel to it. So if you don't like like a matte feel to your leather, you won't like that one. Now here we got something I could actually afford. <laughs> the Willa card holder. The Willa snap card holder. I actually really like this. This is just like a super cute like little pocket wallet. Very beautifully built. Love the leather. Just love it. $188 Canadian. So like that's probably like the cheapest Willa item you're getting. And I, I wouldn't be mad. Again, 50% off. That'd be actually a pretty decent deal. Who knows? Maybe I'll strike rich and then we'll go on a big Tory Burch outlet shopping spree. <laughs> but here we also have the Willa. Uh, I think it's just like the snap wallet. The normal bifold snap wallet. Also very stunning. Larger than the just average card case. So it's going to be more expensive. But it's also really cute. I like how it's very slim and compact. $278. 30% off. So I think that's going to be roughly like $180, $200 plus tax. And then here we have... I believe this is new. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but this is, at least this is new to me. The Willa tote bag. Now, I do like this. I do feel like they were able to structure it in a manner where it's not completely deflating. But, eh, give it a minute. $998. So, 30 that's $700. I would honestly tell you... Like, that is way too much money for... I just feel like that's really expensive. $700. You could probably get, like, a really good Tory Burch retail outlet. Or not outlet, sorry. Like, a really good retail Tory Burch bag on sale for that much. If not, like, like a normal price bag for that much. Like, that just seems outrageous to me. So, regardless of that, it is a beautiful bag. Very beautiful. But... My one gripe is the fact that they used that leather because it doesn't go well in that silhouette. So similar to the bucket bag where it just feels a bit more flimsy than it should, it it looks stunning, but I question how well it would hold up long term. And then here we got the Willa and the extra large quilt. I love the extra large quilt on these. It's just so stunning. It literally looks like a Chanel bag. It looks like a Chanel flap. A Chanel classic flap. But in Tory Burch. I 
I love it. I think it's sickening. $898, off, a fair bit pricey, but I do like it nonetheless. And then we got the micros, the micro Willa crossbodies, these cute little crossbody bags. Very cute, very simple, not going to use much for it, honestly. It's just to look cute. And <laughs> if you're going to ask me, it's just to look cute. $448, so it's pretty expensive for a micro bag. Let's be real here. I don't think that the um, chain is removable either. So that is a bit unfortunate. But it's still cute. And if you know, if you just want like your cute little party bag, I think it would be good for that. They also had a, a plethora of retail bags on sale for 30% off. This one is the Brocade. I can't remember the names off by heart. I don't believe that these ones sold out or anything. So these ones have been floating around for a little while. They're very cute though. I really love when they do these like really fancy like carpet like prints it's just so classy and elegant $759 honestly you're better off just going over here and buying like a retail bag like ma'am and it suits my outfit perfectly Still not outshining my bandit, but it still holds its own pretty damn well. Speaking of holding its own pretty well, we got a lampshade bag. I love these bags, but they're very expensive and I feel like they're a little, they're not flimsy. It's just the way they're built. It makes them a little flimsy. And I like my bags to have more structure. I don't want to have to like warp them into shape or something like that. But I really love these bags. The, the leather smell from it was just so luxurious. And it just, it was very well crafted. The inside has suede and the really cool buckle strap in the middle. Very interesting style. Very expensive at $1,208 Canadian. Girl, that's more expensive than my Eleanor satchel. Ma'am. Right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred 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 thousand nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine there can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and 99 99 already you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's uh it's been a while <laughs> tori birch outlet shop with me for the latest willa collection drops for the styles and designs lots of new goodies and in all honesty i still love the willa I still love the Willa. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's Tory Birch Outlet Shop with me, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or shop with me. And you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over. <laughs>